from the heart of the nautical mile. You are listening to the station that serves your community. AM 1240 WGBB.com and 1240 WGBB Freeport. Uh-uh, stay where you are, live from WGBB, 1240 AM, Long Island's oldest radio station. It's time for... Listen up, Jesus is on the air. There you are, Dr. Tony. And here we go. And that was Dr. What's your name again? Palmer. Oh, Palmer, Palmer. Dr. Palmer. Palmer. And I'm Dr. Chiffo, uh, Dr. Anthony, rather. And we got a great show, so stay tuned. <laughs> You're looking for me to say something. Yes. I'm not going to talk. Okay. I'm going to be very quiet. Today. Well, I was told in prayer, Palmer, uh -oh. that it's now, because of our two year anniversary, it's now time for us to be bold. And so that's what we're doing today. We're going to be bold. I can't do that. You could. No. Oh, Palmer. I'm too shy. I don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah, tell me another one. Yeah. <laughs> Next thing you'll ask me to go on the radio on a regular basis. <laughs> <laughs> and that was, this singing is our good friend Al Barbarino, who we love daily. And we got a surprise for you today. Al sings our theme song. Yeah, we got the author of our theme song here today. Paul Val. Paul Val. Oh, speaking of Al, just let me mention, he's going to be on Telecare. He's going to be on Telecare today, about 3.15, tomorrow, or tonight, about 7.15, and Sunday, about 8.45. So all our listeners, listen to him and let him know you heard it on Listen Up. Jesus is on the air. Okay, Al, let's go. So, Paul. Well, first of all, welcome to the program. It's thank so you, nice thank that you, Tony and John, for having me on the program. We're happy to have you. Can I, can I wish you guys congratulations? Uh, your second year, I think it was January 5th, two shows. January 8th, right? yes. Yeah, two years. Who would have thought? Great show, guys. I'm, I'm uh, honored to be on here. Thank you. Honored to have you. And this is our 106 show. Mm -hmm. and, and you're a songwriter as well. I don't know yes. if it's a hobby or it's not your primary occupation, but... Uh, I call written, it an application. You've written several songs besides the song for our program. Yes. Uh, you've written other songs that really deal with a lot of the issues that are affecting America. Uh, and, and perhaps you tell us a little bit about your songwriting and how you've gotten into it. And specifically, a time in America. Sure. I'd love to do that, gentlemen. Well, actually, I was into music at a very young age. I had my own band when I was like 19, 20 years old and I thought music was going to be my career and uh, and then I got married and I actually had to go out and earn a living so <laughs> okay. I put music on the side for about 30, 40 years and Tony and I have been in business together all that time and as things quieted down a little I kind of got into it again but the thing, the thing that really got me started was the uh, unfortunate, uh, tragic I should say, Columbine massacre which was That's terrible. Yeah, one of the school shootings that was the, I guess the biggest one at the time, and uh, the first of many. The first, the first of many. Well, there was some before that, but they were small, you know, yeah. one person two didn't get much publicity. But that one, that one was on the air and on TV, uh, I think for two, three months straight. And you couldn't yeah. turn the television on without hearing the talking heads giving you solutions. Uh, you know, the same things they're talking about today. You know, with the one control, in Connecticut, on sure. guards, all of that. And, I know, well, as all those things have their place, I, I, I was so frustrated because I felt they were missing the main uh, cause of these problems. And to me, uh, it was God being pushed not only out of the schools, but out of society in general. And I think uh, kind of a slow withdrawal of his blessings from this country, which has been very blessed over the years, we'll agree. And I was driving home on the expressway one day again, listening to the same story about the cutting out the guns and so forth, and I just got so frustrated, I turned off the radio, and uh, and I, have, I keep a tape recorder in the car, you know, to record the uh, memos, schedules, whatever. I wasn't writing songs. Busy guy. Busy yeah. guy. What's that, though? You're a busy guy. Busy guy. Not as busy as you, but busy. <laughs> Anyhow, <clears throat> I turned the tape recorder on because these thoughts kept coming into my head about what was really going on with these school shootings, and I, I really don't know where they were coming from because they came so fast and furious 
faster than I could actually think of them. The thoughts that, that you were the thoughts, words, yeah, the right. The Holy Spirit. That was Jesus. Uh, I, that was Jesus. <clears throat> I believe that's one time I could say that I really, truly had no doubt I, I was being talked to or the words were being fed to me, however you want to put it. And I just kept uh, repeating. I was fed into me. I was repeating into this tape recorder. By the time I got home, I had about an hour and a half. If you're ever on the LIE, an hour and a half is not much time. You know? <laughs> I had about an hour and a half worth of words. I said, well, wait, now what do I do with them? And uh, since I play the guitar and I'm into music, I, I uh, had the strange thought of trying to put this into a song. I said, how, how could music and the song go together with such a tragedy, you know? But uh, the, the music came to me and uh, the words, I was able to cut them down. And uh, when it was all finished, uh, I looked at it and said, you know, this, this makes some sense. It's a message, I think. Do you still have your band? No, my <laughs> I was 21 years old when we disbanded that. Wait, I was only getting 23. married. <laughs> We're young kids. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm in a band, but not the original band. Tell the original. them the band you're in and tell them who plays your music. I'm in a band called the uh, Black Rose Black Rose Band. Mm -hmm. And uh, the leader of that band is Tito Batista, who was supposed to be here today. But he called and apologized. Something came up. Uh, they had to go upstate with his wife. And uh, they were just running short of time, so he told me to congratulate you guys on your second year anniversary also. I'm sorry you couldn't be here. But uh, we have a band, you know, not, not the type band that plays gigs every weekend, but special occasions. We may be having a few in March. You know, in preparing for today, I listened to the song, A Time in America. And wow, those words are just terrific. Why don't we listen to it now? And then we can talk a little bit more about it later. Trevor? Okay, fine. <clears throat> We're going to listen to A Time in America. Listen is, listen to the to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. There was a time in America when kids were simply kids Didn't need sex education Or carry guns in violation Of all the rules When kids were allowed to pray and never were they led astray Religious freedom was the rule And God was still allowed in school There was a time in America Oh yeah When kids were simply kids There was a time in America when kids were safe in school 